Have you ever wanted to restain a piece of furniture, but you didn't want to sand it and you didn't want to strip it? Well, if you want to find out how you can restain furniture without having to do those two things, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and this is Creative on the Cheap where I like to do budget friendly DIYs and home decor. All right, first thing before I tell you about this fabulous product, I wanted to say thank you so much for the love. If you saw our last video, it was the announcement was attached to it that we have launched a vlog channel. There's a trailer on that channel as well as the first vlog. So if you want more of my daily life, the channel is linked down below. I would love for you to follow me over there. Now, Retique it. This product is something I've been watching since last year. And the premise of it is, is that if you want to restain something, you don't have to sand, you don't have to strip it. They have a product that's actually liquid wood. That's right. So I'm going to kind of explain the process and how it works while I'm doing the DIY, but I did want to let you know, this is a giveaway video. Retique it has been kind enough to agree to send one lucky winner a kit to where you could do a project along with this awesome book. And I'll tell you more about everything that's in the kit at the end of this video. So thank you, Ratikit, for partnering with me. Um, I am super excited to get into this project. So let's get to it. Okay, so step one was done, which was clean the surface. Step two is to take your liquid wood and paint on one coat. It says, don't worry about your brush strokes. And then we let that first coat dry for two hours. So I'm gonna open up my can. Oh, and it has these little holders on there that I'm just, you know, letting them fly everywhere. So you can hear them. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should be saving those, who knows. All right. There we go. And then it came with a little stir stick that so said to stir it. It kind of looks like caramel. Here we go. So this product is patented, but this liquid wood, why they call it liquid wood is because it is actually made up of 66% recycled wood fibers and they have four different shades of this liquid wood to match pretty much any stain color you could choose and on one of their little uh, brochures it kind of shows you um, underneath the names white wood light wood which is what I'm using here medium wood and dark wood and then above it you can kind of see coordinating stain colors that would go really well with that liquid wood All right, so I've got my first coat on. It says to let it dry for two hours and to go clean my brush because I'm gonna use this brush again. So I'm gonna go wash it um, with some water and let this dry for two hours. Somebody told me don't pretend cause everyone can use a friend sometimes. Take some good advice. Once the first coat of the liquid wood is dry, I'm gonna go in with my second coat and then I'm gonna immediately go ahead and start graining the wood. Now, graining the wood is optional. You do not have to do this, but I knew that I wanted the top to look like a piece of actual wood. After the second coat was on, cleanup was super easy because this is water-based. I just rinsed out my brush, which made it so nice because I have to say, when I do these type of projects, cleanup is my absolute least favorite part, but it was super easy with this, so I really enjoyed that. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna grain it. You gotta tilt it up, guys. All right, graining, I'm graining. 
the trick that I figured out to make this successful while you're graining is to kind of rock the graining tool back and forth as you're pulling it down. It worked really well once I kind of figured out that little rocking motion and I just can't get over how it looks. Um, like right here, I took off too much of the liquid wood. I just go back in with the paintbrush and then go ahead and go over it and regrain it again. Easy peasy. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. I ended up letting it dry overnight because I just got busy last night. And, but this is definitely something you could do in one day um, if you start in the morning because of the dry time. It's you know it's something you definitely could knock out in a day. So now we are moving on to step four, which is apply the wood stain. They gave us the gloves. I'm gonna use a brush. It says use long even strokes. Um, and then we'll let it dry according to that. And then we can wipe off, they also provided the rag, any extra stain. So I'm gonna get this ready to apply the stain. I'm so excited. Okay, I cannot get over this, you guys, seriously. Um, originally, I was planning to just stain the top and paint the bottom, but now I'm thinking I may wanna do the whole piece with this technique. So I'm, just, I'm showing you all this right here, <laughs> the bottom part, so that you can see a close-up of what that looks like. And now I've gotta decide what I'm gonna do now because I really like how that looks. Um, there was a little bit of liquid wood that had blobbed up. It did say to go in and sand any blobs. I did not sand it. So that's kind of what happened right there, but I can fix that. That's not a big deal. So don't, don't skip any of their steps because they know what they're talking about. For the rest of the piece, I had thought about on the two shelves here, doing the liquid wood and graining those, but then I realized I'm shoving those baskets back in here and you're really not gonna see any of that. So what I end up doing is on the all the inside of this piece, I just do the two coats of liquid wood and stain it and then wipe the stain off. On the two outside sides of this piece, there's like a panel section, which you'll see in just a second. I grained just that little section and then stained it. And I'm so happy with how that turned out because that would be visible for people to see. And this little cheap Target piece of furniture with fake wood, MDF, all that good stuff, um, composite, whatever it is, looks like a legit hardwood piece of furniture. I, you guys you, you guys know me when I show products and share it, I really stand behind it. And I, I absolutely love this stuff. Like I love it. Someone says better when you hold on to a helping hand. So now I am on step five, which right here says, sorry about the shadow. Um, it's to seal it. So it says paint or spray the top coat on according to the directions and then we're gonna let it dry So I'm gonna be using the poly that they sent me. It's just a um, Clear satin which is great because I didn't want this to be super glossy or anything like that So that works out perfectly and I'm just gonna take a paintbrush and I'm just gonna start sealing to seal this up, I ended up putting two coats of sealer on the top and the sides, and then on the inside where the baskets are constantly pulled out, I ended up doing three coats on the inside. Now, what's the verdict on this product? I absolutely love it. Um, I, I, I don't 
don't know what else to say besides that. I absolutely love it. Um, it was so easy to use. The kit was so convenient. It came with everything that you needed. Um, I, pff, mind blown, guys, it definitely is a game changer. Now, what you're all probably waiting for, let's find out about this giveaway and what you will win. All right, let's get into what you need to do to enter this giveaway and what you will win. All right, one lucky person, the first thing they're gonna win is one of these small boutique kit kits. This covers 80 square feet and comes with everything you need to refinish a piece of furniture. So the first thing you're gonna get in this kit is your liquid wood. Now there are four colors to choose from and my recommendation to you is if you're not quite sure what color you need to choose to match what stain you choose, just reach out to them. They are so friendly and so helpful. They help guide me to make sure I had the right colors and everything like that. So you're gonna start with your liquid wood because that's what you paint down first. You will get two different size graining tools in case you decide you want to grain your project. You'll get your stain color along with your paintbrush, foam brush, gloves and a rag, your paint stir stick, and then of course a pamphlet here that gives you all the directions, guide, just guidance, helpful hints, all that good stuff in the box. Now, on top of that, you are also going to get Michelle's book called My Flipping Life. This is a great book that if anybody who likes to refinish furniture should read. It covers all of the bases from picking furniture to doing projects to if you want to sell it. I mean, all the things. And it's a great read, as you can tell. I've got <laughs> pages marked in here. But um, very quick read, nice resource to have, so you will also win this. So to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below. Comment down below and let us know what type of piece of furniture that you would like to finish, refinish. And that's it. The rest of the guidelines for the giveaway are listed down below in the description box as well as when the giveaway will end. So please make sure you read that carefully and that you follow all of the requirements in the description box. And that's it. There you go. Thank you again, Ratikit, for partnering with me. I absolutely love your product and cannot wait to use it again. Until next time, guys, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one.